What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we'll be watching Arcane League of Legends Season 1, Episode 3 The Base Violence Necessary for Change. So, yeah, if you want to see the full length reaction to this, pretty much all the episodes before this, and all the other shows that I'm doing, and movies, and Full lens to everything that I'm doing. That's available on Patreon. Link in the description. Also, I upload these videos earlier on Patreon as well. So check it out. Thank you to everyone who has become a patron. I really was not expecting that kind of a support. And so I'm really blessed to have you guys on my side. Not just the patrons, though. Special thanks to the patrons. But also those who are subscribing, liking, commenting. All of you. Any and all support. I love it. Thank you so much really humbles me so thank you now then last episode was left on quite a cliffhanger there's quite a bit going on i was told by vander that war is not the way they should sue for peace which i believe they should as well or in war no one wins was a line he used which is quite true and um it's just you know the older wiser dude sharing his wisdom with the little young blood who's full of passion and thinks with their heart more than their brain and you know that always sort of leads to problems and i uh, yeah they, they didn't really take uh vander's advice there and they went out and they're gonna do some what are they gonna do we're gonna find out in this episode so without any further ado here we go the base violence necessary for change episode three of arcane but it changes you forever I thank you, old friend. Who is this old friend you speak of? What an intro. Benzos, yep. The troops were, or the, you know, the soldier dudes are coming this way. Guards. While Vi was sitting waiting for them inside. There it is. This is where it ended. Vander? Oh. I'm proud of you. I'm sorry. I... This is the only way to protect the others. It was a Vander. I thought it was the guards, man. Now the world tries to break you. Protect the family. You gonna let us make the arrest or not? Why? No. And they're gonna think they did this. Vander. And it's people. I was gonna say, is it the mad scientist or the mad scientist new Telco? It's the experiment. What the hell have you done? This wasn't the deal! No, well, it happens when you make a deal with the devil. The animation is really good. That coin falling in that blood, that was so cool, man. They're gonna kill Vander? Oh, he's still alive, right? I think they just knocked him out. Rest in peace, Benzo, though. Oh. So, Vander is gone. Benzo's gone. Who's gonna be in charge now? Yeah. You stupid. And she's dead, too. And then there's Vi. No, no, no. You heard the council. If we're wrong, got to be right. Hmm. Why would you risk this? You think it was my life's ambition to be an assistant? Hextech dream of yours has the potential to do that. Our Hextech dream. <laughs> Someone watching him? No? Enzo's dead, isn't he? Oh, kid. Necessary for change. The base violence necessary for change. That guy's built, you know. I trusted you and you betrayed me. That was him. Old friend. I've never forgiven myself. You are my brother. I hated you, but you kept my respect until you made peace with them. I had no choice. Kill me if you have to, but please. Spare the lanes. Okay. So they are the lanes. I thought that it might have been the underground. Just not that man anymore. Now I'll show you what you really are. 
I like that was that woman that stood up to him in the last episode. And she said, you are weak. This technology, it's real. No matter what happens here, it's going to change our world. Built over the land of progress, equality, innovation. Just give us a chance. One night, gentlemen. Impress me. <laughs> One night, impress me. Wait a minute. That's not what we signed up for. Oh, Councillor Madonna, you, you nearly scared me to death. Huh? Another late night. The work just doesn't end. <laughs> Moderna. Isn't that the name of the vaccine? Moderna? COVID-19 vaccine? Or the company that makes it, I guess. Benzo's dead. They took Vander. You're not doing this alone, Vi. He's our father, too. Okay, they're all adopted. Okay. I need you to sit this one out, Powder. What? I can help! You're not ready! You're all I have left. I can't lose you. If they come for you, take this and run. Wherever you are, light it up, and I'll find you. I promise. Hmm. That was sweet. Oh, Powder. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I'm not sure anybody knows what they're doing. This is a new experiment, right? Never done before? Ooh. It said vi- oh, wow. A toy said vi on it. She's really losing it, wow. <laughs> ah, looked like she was gonna go crazy, man. Really hurt her. Them leaving her behind. Incredible. Muy incredible. Wow. Kind of remind me of that dude in the uh, uh, earlier episode with the storm. You know, when he's a little kid. The wizard dude. You have to get out. It's a trap. It's a trap. If it's too easy, if there's an open window, yep, it's a trap. Vander the coward fled town with his children. They were never seen again. Whoa. So that's the rumor they're spreading in the lanes is that he ran away with his kids, sold out the lanes. Hmm. Squad a matchup. Damn, what an uppercut. Anybody else? You want some? I'll give it you. Come on, let's do this. All right. And I'm kind of glad I saw Avatar The Last Airbender before this because that taught me to suspend disbelief for a second. I'm able to do that now. Take a breath. You can do this. Come on, Milo. Hey! Three more to go, right? We're gonna get you out. Lovely. He's on it. He's moving. He's moving quick. Vi, you absolute beast. How old is she? Well, like 13, 14, 15, maybe, 16. <laughs> Oh no, that's that shredded dude! Uh-oh, and now you got a shredded monster on the other end. Okay. Now what? Is he gonna do this? There it is. I thought he was gonna block, but... Same idea. Oh, he's bulking, but only on the one side, though. Oh, he's going to break through that, right? Yeah, look, it's kind of the same. Well, I don't know if they're the same, but similar to the symbols and shit. Like, yeah, like that, like that. There you go. They showed the exact same scene. Okay. Whoa. You've actually done it. Will you please stop hovering? <laughs> I'm not sure how 
to do that. <laughs> Perhaps it's time for the era of magic. Uh, Hextech. For the era of Hextech. <laughs> Hextech, let's go! You have to work. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Is it gonna work this time? It has to, right? Right? Didn't work. Did that woman just lose her hand? It looked like the hand got cut off. I killed Milo and... Clagger or something? The other two dudes? What about Vi? Vanderzilla. Vi's dead too? Kill them. This guy's still alive. Oh, she's alive. Oh, are they all alive? You fucking beast. Oh, they're all alive. Vander, yeah, Vander, Dutch Vanderlin. Here we go. Damn this guy. He's that good. This monster thing can't even hold him down. Well, I spoke too soon. Attitude adjustment. <laughs> Vander's dead too? I knew you still had it in you. Is he gonna come back to life? Because of the serum thing. Oh, the glasses and um, oh. he's back. Yeah, if Render could hold you without that, with that, you ain't standing a chance. That guy's a fucking beast. Uh oh. Now what, bitch? Yeah, run. It's either go after him or save Vi. Come on, you gotta save Vi. Alright, cool. What about powder? Where's powder? Oh no! She left? Look at that chest, bro. <laughs> Take care of powder. <laughs> Looks like the bloody Hulk bar. Monkey bomb finally worked. You did this. Oh, they wanted to help. <laughs> I told you to stay away. <laughs> no. You're a jinx. Do you hear me? Milo was right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Milo, please. <laughs> Just follow her. <laughs> I see history repeating itself. I'll kill you if he hears you. Come on. Let's go. I definitely see. Yep. Vander and him, they were close and then something happened and they. Right? Vine powder, they were together and something happened and now they're. She left me. There it is. She is not my sister anymore. Just like Vander. Hmm. We will show them all. Okay. Hmm. <laughs>
Oh boy, what an episode. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, a lot to talk about. Yeah, if you want to see the full length reaction, by the way, link in the description to my Patreon, where you'll find the full length reaction. This video goes up on Patreon first as well. If you want the shirt, link in the description as well. Thank you to all my patrons and also you guys here on YouTube for subscribing, liking, and sharing, and commenting, and all that good stuff. Really, it means a lot. So thank you. Now then, about the episode. Wow. Oh, this was good. A lot happened. So a lot of people died. Some people that I thought would be very important. Well, such as Vander, such as Milo, such as Clagger, I think, I believe his name is. Then there's the whole Vi and Powder thing. You know, their sisters are no longer sisters. This is very similar to, at least from what it looks like, what was between Vander and Selco, right? They were ones closed. They aren't anymore. And it seems like, well, Silco understands that. I feel like when she says she is, she left me, right? He looks at Vander, right? So I, I believe he's thinking about Vander and that moment when Vander leaves him, like the, the or conflict, you know, whatever it is. I mean, I, I've just heard this little story from him in this one scene, so I'm not entirely sure what exactly is happening, but it's kind of similar, do you know what I mean? And so because of that, he's taking care of her and now she's going to grow up with him and they're going to be like enemies now, Vi and Powder, just like Vander and Silco were and uh, that's quite interesting now vi wanted to come back but she could not she was held back by was that marcus it might have been marcus is it marcus or marco well mark let's just put it that way but yeah this was quite an episode the other two dudes um figured the the magic thing out and so there's quite a bit of development on that side of the story as well hextech or whatever he said something hectic or something uh, i mean hect hectic hectech or hex i think it was hextech something like that and so there's a lot going on on both sides so there's like the piltover and the lanes or the underground so is the lanes a certain part of the underground or is the lanes just the entire underground? You know, but I'll just say the underground for now until you guys explain and then I might call it lanes later. But you do know what I mean, like the, the poor area and like the rich. So there's a lot of development in both um, the areas and that's good to see because if you remember, I said this, I would like to see both sides and they're giving us both sides and I love that. I hope they keep doing that. I would like to see both sides, you know. Sometimes with uh, stories such as this, they only give you one side and like somewhere at the end, they'll give you like a couple of scenes about the other side and that's it. So I like the fact that with every episode, they're showing both sides and what an episode this was. A lot of loss, a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot is happening. How, how, who's in charge of the lanes now or the underground now? Is it Selco? It probably is Selco. The, the acting or voice acting, I guess, is pretty good as well. The Especially with the powder. One, that scene where she's just absolutely losing it. I mean, that was kind of out of nowhere. But then at the same time, she's a little child. So that is to be expected. The the the, the person that she thought was her sister and the other two dudes, you know, like family. Um, they just abandoned her. They are not taking her with them because they think that she's bad luck the jinx right so it would i it would i guess have that kind of an impact on you and then the the animation is so good as well her crying you can see it in her face and it's all so good and then they're the same similar sort of uh thing there at the end as well when she's begging uh vi not to leave her to help her and man it almost made me like shed a tear i swear like oof. Oh, good and so well done. And, uh, you know, then when she's sitting, uh, Vi, that is, with her back towards, and she's just there, like, down, and Silco comes in and just jumps at Silco, hugs him, says she left me. It was, oh, it's all, oh, man, so nice. Like, the animation, I even talked about him, them dropping the coin in the blood, the blood sort of, like, you know, like, bouncing, like, making that animation. Like, it's so, the detail and the... It's just so good, do you know what I mean? It's it's it makes it very fun to watch when it's because it is an animation at the end of the day, but it's done so well that you kind of forget that it is like cartoon, do you know what I mean? You're like, no, it's actual real people. I love it, man. It's good. I love how Vi took on like ten people on her own. And for the most part, did pretty well against that super jacked dude as well. I'm getting used to this kind of stuff, so I'm 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 learning to suspend disbelief a little bit. And Avatar, like I said, the last airbender really helped with that. 
Um, and I'm able to do that with this. And because of that, I'm having so much fun. Like before, before Avatar, if I had seen that scene, <laughs> you know, with Vi fighting those 30 or whatever people, I would have been like, all right, come on, man, really? It's like a little girl. She's fighting all these dudes. Like, really? Come on. Really? Come on. But now I'm like, no, all right. Th this is this is that world. This is how it's supposed to be in that world. So it works, right? It worked. If it works in that world, it works. And it works. So no problem there. And I'm really excited to see where things will go. Now, here's something important to keep in mind as well. Vander, in the last episode, did mention to uh vi you know when he was talking about peace over war and no one wins in war and all that he was like what are you willing to give up or and how many people are you willing to give up powder right for this and milo has gone flagger is gone powder is pretty much gone vander himself is gone she did not listen she did not listen. You know, that's why they say listen to your elders, not because they're always right, but because they have more experience at being wrong. Anyways, that is where we're going to end it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do drop a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I'm doing Star Wars. I'm, I've done Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, parts of the Caribbean. I'm watching those movies as well. I'm doing Stranger Things, Doctor Who, Breaking Bad, and obviously Arcane as well. On Patreon, I upload these videos earlier and the full length reactions, which are like kind of like watch alongs go on Patreon as well. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. And thank you all my patrons. Special shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...